Hello, what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be looking at sequences and the learning objective is to be able to generate terms and patterns for sequences. And these are typical one or two GCC mark questions. And the first question says, the diagram shows a pattern of sequences build up, building up. What will be the next two patterns? Now, as I mentioned, right, it's only a one or two mark question, but we need to try and get these um, question questions correct. So, for example, on the first one, you've got these are squares up here. So you've got two squares across and two squares going up. The next one up here, if you look carefully, you've got three squares going across and three squares going up. The third one, you've got four squares going across and you've got four squares going up. And you have to be careful, the question says, what will be the next two patterns? So you must make sure you read the question. So what are the next two patterns going to look like? And we know the next pattern after this is going to be five squares across and five squares going up. So if I start off up here, just draw one square here, two, three, four, and five. So we've got five squares going across and we've got five squares going up. So we've got one up here already. Two, three, four, five. So you've got five squares going across. And the next one after that, we need to have six squares going across. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we need to make sure we've got six going up. So we've got one already there. Two, three, four, five, and six. Six going up there. So this normally would give us two marks. If it's a one, one pattern, they normally say one mark. Because it says two patterns, it would probably be two mark question. We've got a next question up here. So this time, this is slightly different up here. We've got matchsticks up there. So we need to make sure what's actually happening up there. So the easiest way to do this is let's count the matchsticks on each pattern. So you've got the first pattern here, you've got the second pattern here, and you've got the third pattern here. So on the first ma first one, you've got one, two, three, three matchsticks. And the next pattern, you've got one, two, three, four, five matchsticks. And on the third pattern, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matchsticks. And what you should notice, every time, it's increasing by two. So with a question like this, what you could do is, if you draw the previous question, um, the previous one, so for example, if I start off with this first one up there, now what you would need to do is for the next pattern, for pattern number two, do exactly the same thing up there. So do exactly the same thing, copy that, and what we need to do is we need to make sure we add two more matchsticks. So I'm just going to add one up there and one up there. So that is my next pattern. So I've got three matchsticks on my first one, five on the second one. And the third pattern, what you could do is repeat what the previous pattern says. So we've got, this is my previous pattern up there. And what I need to do now is I need to add two more match six. If you notice, you're adding two match six every single time. So that's my third pattern up there. Now, what I want to do now is with my fourth pattern, all I need to do up here is make sure I've repeated my previous pattern, which is pattern number three. So I should have this as my previous pattern. Just need to copy that down. And all I'm doing now is I'm adding two more match six up there. So got one up here and one up there. And pattern number four, I've got nine match sticks. And then the pattern number five, I should have 11 match sticks if I keep to the sequence. So as we just said previously, if we just draw the previous pattern, so I'm just drawing pre uh, my pattern number four up here, just going to copy that down exactly the way that is. Now I've copied that down exactly the way it is, and just using a different pen, what I'll do, I'll add on my two extra match six. So what I've done up here now, I've actually answered the question. This one was slightly harder, but the key thing to remember on a question like this, if you draw the previous pattern, and in this case, the numbers were increasing by two, so I was drawing two match sticks every single time. 
It was slightly more complicated, but you get do get used to it once you start practicing some more questions. Now we've got something else up here. It says here, find the next two terms in the sequences. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we understand what's actually happening up here. So the question says, find the next two terms. It's extremely important that we follow what the question says. So the next two terms. If you don't get these two terms right, or even if you get one of them incorrect, the chances are you probably won't get any marks because, because these are normally one mark questions. So let's see if you can establish what's actually happening up here. So it says here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. We clearly can understand that it's going up in threes or the three times tables. So if I add on three every time, I should get 18 plus three is 21. Then if I add three again, which is gonna be 24 up here. Now, what I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video and I want you to answer question number two. Now, please. Right, what we'll do that, we'll look at question number two. So it starts off with 4, 9, 14, 19, 24, 29. Now, if I add 5 every time, so if I add 5, if I add 5 every time, I know that is my pattern up there. So I'm adding 5 every time. I'm adding 5 every time up here. So add 5. So for the next one, I'm going to be adding 5 again, which should give me 34. And if I add 5 again, that should give me 39. So my rule there was add 5. So that's what you need to write down. Add 5. And for the one above, I was adding 3 every time. With this question, if you notice, the numbers either end in 4 or a 9. 4 or a 9, 4 or a 9, 4 or a 9. So just be careful with that one. The next question, I'm going to be looking at some negative numbers up here. So we have to get used to negative numbers because these numbers will actually come up, these sort of questions will come up in an assessment. And it starts off with minus 12, minus 9, minus 6, minus 3. Now you have to understand, if you know your positive and negative numbers, you have to understand this is increasing by 3 every time. It's not decreased. Please remember, use a number line if you need to. It's increasing by 3 every time. So every time I'm adding 3 up here. Every time I'm adding 3. And what we need to do now is add 3 again. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. And then I need to add 3 again. And I'll get 3 up there. And my rule here is add 3 every time. What I want you to do for the next question is pause the video and have a go. So pause the video now, please. Right. What you should have noticed up here is every time, every time the numbers are being added by 4. So we're adding 4 every time. So up here, we're adding 4. We're adding 4 again. We're adding 4 again. So what I need to do is minus 6 plus 4 is going to give me minus 2. Minus 2, and I need to add 4 again, is going to give me a positive 2. And what you should have written down, the rule is adding 4 every single time. Now, on the next slide up there, I've got some questions for you to attempt. So you've got some questions on find out the, ne the next two terms. So we've got three questions on that, finding out the next two terms on this. And please make sure, sorry, the next three terms, please make sure you do write down what the next three terms are and also write down what the rule is. So it's really important that we read the, we read the question properly. So the next three terms in each sequence and what is the term for term, term to term rule for each sequence. And then to finish off, You've got the last question which says, Gareth uses matches to produce a hexagon patterns. Hexagon is a six-sided shape. So what you need to do now is you need to find out what the next two patterns are. So you need to draw the next two patterns. Think about what I said previously on our previous slide. So draw the previous pattern and then find out how many you need to add on every time. Can you make sure you take a photo of this and send this on class charts, please? Thank you very much for watching.